I start the video, if you guys could please subscribe and, you know, if you like this video, you know, give it a like, thumbs up, and I want to hear from you guys. Comment down below as well. I am a travel agent. I do specialize in Disney, Disneyland, Disney World, Disney Cruises, Disneyland Paris. That's been a big one lately. So if you have any questions, if you are looking to book your vacation, it is absolutely free to use me. 100% to everybody who books through me and you get a lot of services, dining reservations, fast pass reservations. I make recommendations. I do itineraries to save you time so you don't have to spend a lot of time in line. I determine which park day is the best day to visit which park. I hope that made sense. I determine which day is the best day to visit which park. So the crowds aren't crazy for you as well. So please contact me. All my contact information is down below. Hi, everybody. So I wanted to start off the new year with an exciting video about what is going to be new at Walt Disney World in 2020. There are some really cool things that are going to be happening this year. I think it's a great time to visit because it's right after Galaxy's Edge opened, but right before the 50th anniversary, which is going to be in 2021. So I think it's a perfect time to visit Walt Disney World. They have released free dining for this year. It is spotty, I know, but they did release it. And then they also released this week that kids, which in Disney is three to nine, eat free. And that is a big span of time, lots of dates for that offer. So if you are interested, please let me know and I will get you booked. So I hope you enjoy this video and happy new year. For 2020, so the year starts out with Galaxy Judge now is fully open because it fully opened, Rise of the Resistance opened on December 5th, 2019. So you can visit Batu and Galaxy's Edge in Hollywood Studios and Ride Smoker's Run and Rise of the Resistance, which is absolutely incredible. It is the best ride, I believe, on a Disney property with Flight of Passage coming in as a close second. It is amazing and everybody must experience this ride. I cannot say good enough good things about it. And I can't stop. I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want to spoil it for people, but Everybody must ride this ride. So there's that. Then over Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is going to be opening on March 4th. And that is really soon. So that is really exciting. It is opening in the Chinese Theater in Hollywood Studios at the end of the main drag there. So that is going to be, that is a, a much anticipated ride, I will say. Let's see, what else do I have for Hollywood Studios? So we're going to hit over at Epcot, actually. Epcot's going to be next. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is going to be opening, they're saying right now, summer of 2020. No date has been announced yet, and that is in the France Pavilion in Epcot. Also in Epcot, in spring of 2020, they're going to have their new nighttime show, Harmonious. Harmonious? Yes, that's how I'm saying it. So that is going to be amazing. I am sure it, the pictures for it look incredible. So I'm really super duper excited about it. To rewind a little bit on January 17th, a couple new movies are going to be debuting at Epcot. You're going to have Awesome Planet, which is going to be in the Land Pavilion. So it's upstairs in the Land Pavilion. Then Beauty and the Beast Sing Along is going to be in France. And a brand new Circle Vision 3D, 6, 3D, oh my gosh, brand new Circle Vision 360 film for the Canada Pavilion in France as well. They're going to have a new Circle Vision 360 film for China called Wondrous China, but it has not been, the date has not been determined when they're going to release that. The main, well, I have do restaurants too, but. The next thing for Epcot, I was going to say the main final thing, but it's not really the main final thing, is that in 2020, they're going to have in Epcot the DuckTales World Showcase Adventure, and guests can play on the Play Disney Parks mobile app, 
and they can search for Priceless Treasure with by Scro with Scrooge McDuck and Donald, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, Launchpad, and Webby from DuckTales. And it's going to be throughout the World Showcase Adventure. This is going to take the place of what is currently available, which is Phineas and Ferb, which took the place of Kim Possible. So they're just changing the interactive scavenger hunt around World Showcase. And then finally for 2020, there are going to be three new restaurants. You're going to have two quick service, one in Hollywood Studios called Toy Story Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. It will not be character. There will be no characters there, but no character themed. It will be themed, but it's Toy Story themed, but no characters walking around. Also, quick service at the American Pavilion at Epcot is going to be the Regal Eagle Smokehouse, which is also barbecue and craft drafts, craft beers. And then in Epcot, near Mission Space, in that same pavilion area, will be a table service restaurant called Space 220, where it's going to appear that you are eating in space. So that one I'm really excited about. So I can't wait to eat there. So that is it for the what is happening in 2020 at Walt Disney World. I think it's going to be a pretty good year. 2021 is going to be the 50th anniversary of the Magic Kingdom, which opened on October 1st, 1971. So I think it will be pretty good this year. I think it's going to be a little calm. Until next year, if you've noticed, I, in my previous videos, I have announced that Disney has released free dining for some parts of summer, and they just announced kids eat free for a lot of summer. So I have a feeling it's going to be a beautiful summer to go to Disney World and just take it all in and enjoy everything that is new for 2020. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.